Hey guys, KTV here. This is just another one of them Poundman style videos because the tech in there is quite hideous and a bit silly. So, what have we got? Slim optical mouse by our friends at Signalex, obviously. Signalex is like Poundman's own brand. So, they used to do this really crap one, which was small for your hands, and this one seems a bit more, um, a bit more durable. Don't know how long it lasts, don't know how good the sensitivity is, and I've got a sink and charge cable. And I didn't pay for this because my aunt gave me this. This was a little extra. Originally, the video was just going to be of this. So I guess let's unbox it. Try me. We're we'll refund or replace if you're not happy with our quality. Yeah, sure. Right, let's open it. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I can feel the cheapness already. I mean that touchpad is pretty that is pretty smooth though. Let's undo it. And I guess in a minute I have to test it down there. We'll plug it into a computer once we've unbo unboxed the other one. It's just a Poundland tech video. That's what I'm doing, this is Poundland electronic tech. So yeah. What does it sound like? Optical mouse. Tested to comply with FFC whatever. 5 volt. 100 milliamps made in China, obviously. QC passed. 17 to 18, whatever that is. So yeah, it's a mouse. It's it's a bit better than the old version because the old version, which is smaller, was a lot harder to touch. The left click on it is a bit stiff, so it's a right click, but it might be because it's new. Right, let's have a look at the other one, shall we? Sync and charge cable, Android phones. Basically, my aunt gave, gave this to me because she she got the wrong one. She thought she was getting an Apple charger. It's by our friends at Signalex. One meter in length. And there's not really much to say about a USB cable, is there? Apart from what I can do is try and use it. Oh, God, that won't last long, the way that twists up like that. I don't think, I don't think this will last long. Nah. Right, let's plug it into a little Apple charger I have here. And the plug socket is over in the corner, so let's just see what I can do with it. One metre in length, not particularly long. And it's got that stupid kinking stuff on it. Right, so it's connected to the wall now. Not a lot to say, I mean, it's a micro USB cable. And this stupid kink in it, I don't think the wires are going to wear down in this. I do have a Bluetooth speaker to try it on. A simple audio go. This has a problem. The micro USB doesn't charge. But I'll go down to my old friend Bill, amazing Bill. And he'll go fix it, hopefully. And on here, it's not even charging. But let's turn it on. Turn it off. And it normally charges. Nah. Just a... I don't know what's wrong with that. I'll see if it also has micro USB connectors on their own so I can solder them on. Right, we have another victim. Cocoon by Neo. I think it is. Cocoon Active. Oh, okay. Right, let's see if it'll charge the Cocoon Active. Because I don't have an Android phone, I have an iPhone. So I can only really do it on this. Or various power banks I have laying around. I still use this connector but not as heavily as I would have done in the past and and what good shit the charger brand new in its package doesn't even work hold up let's try another USB supply let's try this LG supply over here because this is for an Android phone, that's what's typically used on Android. So let's give this one a go. Plugged in, and there's power going through that. Oh, oh, just had some strike of life. And didn't go in properly. Oh, 
and it works. It's working now. Very shabby little connection, but there is a small LED in there. Or at least there was that uh, on and off. So yeah, for your pound you get quite a bad USB cable charge box in mine, but yeah, not the best of the best. So yeah, let's go test the mouse now. Uh, here we are at the computer setup. Here's my white fake Apple keyboard. I do have a Logitech one, but it's got some problems at the moment, so it needs to solder an iron there. But once that's paired, I'll definitely have this. But oh, what the hell? Oh, it's still got that silly thing on it. The computer calls it just USB optical mouse. Oh, yeah. The mouse feels like it's got a mind of its own. It definitely will work, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's not. It's got the tightest stiff. It still has that thing when you move it, it gets brighter. So it doesn't even look white because the white is so cheap. Oh. The only way to really use this is to trust, is to adjust the DPI in in um, Windows, which I'm not really. Which I don't really know how to do at the moment, but yeah, that is a review of some shite mouths. I will try to edit my video in this with this mouse but I don't think that's going to go well because the scrolling is horrible so yeah it feels cheap it's light as a feather compared to my normal one my Technet one the Technet one is definitely a lot better more grip on it nicer to hold this piece of shit just ugh there you go, so that is the Poundland mouse. Not a lot. Looks like a fake Macintosh. Shame with this keyboard. This keyboard, I'll do a detailed look at it if you want. If you want, I'll do a detailed look at it again. I'll do a detailed look of review at them. But this one is actually a Poundworld one. Poundworld has now went bankrupt. But yeah, not a nice thing. I mean, this, this keyboard is actually alright, I mean, you can type on it, and yeah, it's a small keyboard, it looks like a Mac keyboard, but yeah, this mouse is nowhere near as good, I wouldn't want to use this thing, my Tenet mouse just takes one alkaline battery in there, and yeah, which the alkaline battery is actually... The mouse is actually the the battery at least is a Maplin, Maplin was sadly one as well. But yeah, just not not the best. So I would rate rate this mouse four out of ten because and that cable gets a two out of ten. So yeah, that's a look at the Poundland mouse and a micro USB cable. Hopefully, I'll do more of these videos for you soon.